Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name's Andrew Wells and today we've got a video all about photographing Budgins. Okay guys, so we're getting close to Halloween so I thought uh, this week it would be quite good fun um, perhaps to have a look at the uh, good old pumpkin um, and see if we can have some fun photographing it. Um, as you can see I've already got the uh, the pumpkin carved out so um, I've already done that. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. You can go and uh, create your own pumpkins, your own design. Um, however, what we are going to do uh, is think about the way we're going to actually shoot this. Um, now traditionally you'd probably put a tea light, a candle in there, something like that uh, and that's how you'd illuminate a pumpkin but for today I'm not actually going to do it like that so um, I want a little bit more control over it um, and also I want to have a little bit of varied looks okay so um, basically uh, what I've done in the roof of the pumpkin I've actually got a light okay so the idea is, is this light will be on um, and then we'll be able to put that inside the pumpkin and that's what's actually going to illuminate the pumpkin for us okay so it'll look a bit a little bit different when we photographed it but by putting it in the uh, the roof of the pumpkin, it means I'm not actually going to see the light as we actually shine through the eyes or the mouth or the nose or anything like that. We won't actually see the light. Uh, what normally happens if you've got a candle burning at the bottom, you usually have this super bright area uh, that you see amongst it. The other thing we're going to do, what, what allows us to do, this is simply a, a little three three LED light. Um, what we can also do is we can actually have a little bit of fun with lighting. Um, so with me I've got um, this which is basically uh, a bicycle torch. It does lots of things but one of the things it actually does is stays on permanently. Um, so again we're going to put that inside the pumpkin and then uh, hopefully by doing that we're going to get some kind of different effect in terms of lighting. Um, I've also got uh, another bicycle light here and it turns out um, this one's actually a green colour. So again, it's going to give us another effect when we actually put it inside the pumpkin in terms of what it might look like. So that's what we're going to do. Um, in terms of um, camera, there's a few things we're going to have to do. Um, first of all, we're going to stick the, tri the, the camera on a tripod um, because that's going to have an exposure that's going to be quite long. Um, not quite sure how long the exposure is, but I'm expecting somewhere around about the sort of um, 15 second mark. Um, and that will then will just vary it depending on what the aperture is. Um, so what I'm going to do is set the camera up on the tripod. I'm going to use a cable release and uh, basically I'll probably be using either the, um, uh, the settings on the actual camera regard to setting uh, a so many second exposure or I might actually just use a bulb setting on the camera in which case I'm going to just leave the shutter open for as long as I need it. The other thing I'm going to do is, at the moment, I'm being illuminated by a light here in the garden, um, but I don't want that when I'm actually taking a photograph of the pumpkin. I want a little bit more control over it, so what I'm actually going to use, again, um, this is just basically a, uh, a torch light, um, one you can get for your bike. You can use a simple normal torch, LED torch. This one's got three LEDs, and what it's going to allow me to do is basically paint the light on the pumpkin. And what it allows me to do, rather than the light that's on all the time, I can actually choose to turn this off. Okay, so that's going to give me a little bit of uh, uh, light on the front and enable me to illuminate that. Uh, and it gives me the control. I can decide how long to actually do it. It might be a little bit of trial and error, um, but we'll have a go at that and we'll see, uh, see how that comes. So I'm going to illuminate the outside of the pumpkin um, as well as the inside. And that way we can actually see it rather than just some kind of silhouette. Okay, so it's simple as that. Um, we're not going to do anything more difficult than that. We're just going to put the, the, uh, the pumpkin down there, illuminate it, get the right exposure, um, and see how we go from there. So um, let's have some fun photographing it, and then afterwards we'll have a look at the, uh, the results and see what it looked like. Okay, let's see how we get on with the uh, green light now in there. Um, first of all, we've done it without any light on that. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, so I'm going to try it again, but with a little bit of torchlight now. Excellent. And probably a bit bright, so let's have another go. It only needs a little bit of torch. Now, again, that's probably too much. That's not too bad, actually. Excellent. Okay, so we can see the effect that the uh, the green light's having in there, but I'm now going to swap that over and get my red light, get it so it's not flashing, and uh, we'll have a go and see how that looks in there. But again, I think the green gave a really good effect. I'm loving the photos as it came out. Um, now I've got to position this so I don't actually see the red light, 
whilst we're taking the uh, the pictures and that's the danger with this this particular light isn't in the roof of the uh, the thing and I guess if I have a lot more time then I might uh, think about cutting extra holes in there to um, to put these particular lights in there but um, okay so there we go that's with the red light in there put the lid back on let's see how we get on with that one okay so now we've got the photographs loaded into Lightroom uh, just to have a look at a few of them I've chosen five different um, pumpkins to have a look at. This is one of the original photos, one of the first ones we took um, and this is without the torchlight on it so it's just a straight photo. Um, it's been um, brightened a little bit um, but as you can see the natural light within inside the pumpkin, the LED light, has actually illuminated that quite well. We did actually find that the shutter speed was actually a lot quicker um, than we thought it might be so the LED lights obviously given up a lot more light than um, the candles might do. So we didn't really need a long exposure. Um, but we also found that when we used the torchlight, uh, we didn't actually need a lot of uh, a lot of that either. Um, so here you go, is a similar video with a tiny little bit of torchlight, and this torchlight probably literally brushed over it. So it was it was no more than half a second. Uh, but as you can see there, it does light it quite brightly. Um, but I do like that. I, I did find that some of them where we lit it too much, it just looked a little bit boring. Um, you could get creative with light. Um, you could actually start uh, playing around using side lighting and that sort of thing. You could also uh, introduce other elements into it, such as uh, putting the pumpkin head onto a scarecrow, shooting it out in the field, uh, painting light around the subject as well as the subject itself. So um, lots of things you could do with it. If you remember earlier on, we actually tried some different colours. Uh, this one is one of my favourite ones. I really love the way the green came out in the uh, pumpkin. And I actually prefer that with very little light on the outside of the pumpkin at all. Maybe it's just the sinister way it looks and the greenness inside it. I, it just really, one of my favourite photos. And even the reflection on the table you use, you've just got that little pool of green there. Uh, very halloween -y, I thought. So um, that's one of my favourite shots. But we also used the red in there as well, and that worked out quite nicely. So again, this is uh, without the illumination really in terms of the uh, torch light. But again, even the light coming through the skin of the pumpkin. So that brightness you see within the uh, shell of the pumpkin, it's really through the actual uh, light shining through the pumpkin skin itself. Now we go with a little bit more torch light and uh, highlighted in there. So uh, again, it just shows you the different effects you actually get with uh, lighting with LED lights. Of course, you could choose to do different lights on the outside. You could use a white light with some gels on the inside. Lots of different things you can actually do with these, but very, very simple setup. So uh, essentially, we had a, a fairly short shutter speed, kept the aperture around about f8, and I didn't have to boost the ISO too much either. So uh, you can really set these up. The important thing is put your camera on a tripod, Try and use a cable release. If you haven't got a cable release, use a self timer, two second self timer. Nothing's going to move, so you've got plenty of time to actually play around with this and getting it looking really, really good. So, there you go, it's a quick tutorial in terms of shooting pumpkins. So, uh, go and get your pumpkin, go do some pumpkin carving, um, and then uh, once you've done that, go and have some fun uh, taking photographs. And uh, I'd love to see all the results. So, if you like the video, please do click on like. Uh, also, come along and uh, Subscribe to our channel and uh, we hope to uh, see you again soon. And please do feel to share and uh, let people know about it. Thanks for watching.